Come here to pioneer I bring the light to the deepest secrets of different bills Add Uncle Demi, you need it, I got it listed, yeah You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah We from the finish to making bills like a prospect Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot of threat You keep the matters cause the real ones coming up next Only scratch the surface, still they try to drain Yo, what's good, YouTube? This your man, Uncle Timmy, and today I have another special banger for you. Now, of course, you know this is Christmas Eve, man, so I just want to wish everybody a happy Christmas Eve. Um, you know, this is, to me, my favorite holiday, so I mean, I know how exciting it is for, you know, especially my younger nephews and nieces, man, how it is right now for the holidays and then for my older nephews and nieces or... Whatever y'all want to consider yourself, if y'all about the same age as me, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, my, my older brothers and sisters, um, you know, your pockets get a little light around this time, right? You know what I'm saying? But it's all well worth it, you know, to have their CR kids and or whoever loved ones, man, to, to see the smiles on their faces um, on Christmas Day and just the spirit of December. So just want to go ahead and put that out there. And also, man, before we get any further in the video, make sure you drop a like to this video um obviously you know the likes just pushes um, my uh, videos up to recommend it man so go ahead and drop the like if you haven't subbed yet go ahead and please sub right now today man i have something special man the two-way mid-range finisher now this build is 100 rare um might be one of the rarest builds on the game the two-way mid-range finisher is basically every single center that's in the game legend wise right so you try to think of any single center that's what they're called man the two-way mid-range finisher that would be kareem abdul jabbar that's what he's called um patrick ewing that's what he was called um alonzo morney um akeem elijah one um trying to think of any all the other I'm mean, listen every single bit moses malone if you look at any major center on um, back in the, on the great um, uh, the greats whatever even yao ming they all say the same thing two-way mid-range mid -range finisher and it's extremely hard build to make and you can only make it but so many ways and you cannot make it um because you got to be able to have a high mid-range shot and you have to be able to have a high defensive shot so it's very unique way of waking making it what i say is this like is it a comp build i'll say that you can definitely play with this build but um you have to it has to be played in the right way and i'm gonna show you exactly how it can be played in the right way because that's what i do man i play with rare builds all the time you know i have a 91 percentage man and i play with rare builds because i make sure i strategically pick my teammates to make this work and you can do the same thing with this build right so without further ado let's go ahead and hop into it let me make sure i got my phone right all right cool so let's go um so believe it or not you have to go with the pure shooting um, um pie chart right um that's just how the game has it set up um they're giving out titles and it's just hard to make them right just like it was to make a 611 two-way slash and playmaker greek freak like that just doesn't happen like that because the way that the game's made but you can get the name but you have to go some sometimes you got to go unique ways and that's that's what i'm doing right here right so you got to go with the pure shooting pie chart right you want to go with the balance on physical profile because you obviously you want to have the strength but you also want to have the speed the vert and acceleration you just want to be a balanced build all right because this is what this build basically is okay now from here this is what we're going to do we're going to max out our my close shot all right we're going to get our driving dunk and we're going to get that at 44 all right 44 driving dunk then we're going to go to 74 standing dunk and then we're going to max out our post hook all right then we're going to max out our mid-range shot and then we're going to go 88 on our um post fade all right then we're going to go 66 on the pass accuracy and then we're going to go 77 on our post move right then we want to max out our interior defense we want to go 38 on our lateral quickness then we want to max out our blocks our offensive rebound and our defensive rebound all right so what you're looking at is 8 16 9 and 6 so it's not the greatest badge distribution it's not a ton of badges this right here is solely just for the name because this build you do not see at all in the park some will argue well the reason why you see this build in the park because it's trash some will say that the reason why you don't see this build in the park is because it's just so hard to make and people just look 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 how you have to make it right um so the thing is this though for me personally i think this is a solid build because all you really need since you have shooting and you have post moves obviously this would be good for the 1v1 or the 2v2 okay um you'll be able to do pretty solid with this with this if you have it on the 2v2 and you can do 3v3 also so i mean but you know if you're doing the um 
wreck. I mean, honestly, I'm thinking, listen, I'm talking myself into it. Like, you can make this build any in, on and play on any format, man. Like, it's just that's just what it is, man. This you can do it, all right. <laughs> um, before we go into the actual numbers, you want to go build, you want to go seven one, you want to get your weight all the way to 290, all right. That's gonna give you 80 interior defense, so that's gonna give you the two way. Obviously, you have an 84 shot, it gives you a mid range. So now you understand you have to have 80 and an 80 mid range, and that's why it's so hard to make this build because you have to have over an 80 mid range shot and over an 80 tier defense to get the two way mid range finisher, all right. And of course, you have to have an 80 close shot, so you have to have 80 close shot, um, over 80 close shot, over 80 mid range, over 80 interior defense. If you can make it shorter, by all means, try, all right. But it's hard because once you go seven feet. The, the interior defense you can only get is a 78 or 79 or something like that so you won't hit the 80 so you don't get the name all right so i'm just trying to help my help y'all out on making these builds man you want to keep it at 90 all right so the cool thing is that you have an 88 mid-range shot all right that's pretty dope right you have a 92 post fade you have an 81 post move you have an 84 post hook um you have a 75 standing dunk i mean i'm sorry 79 standing dunk um unfortunately your driving dunks are 40 you need to at least have a 50 to get the um big man contact dunk so you won't have the big man contact dunk for this build but you will have an 80 block an 80 rebound and an 84 interior defense so as you can see you're, 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 it's not bad even though you just don't have the badges for it the attributes is going to be there all right um now the cool thing is you can go or because you're two-way so you can go with post scoring or you can go with rim protector uh me i'm going with post scoring i just like the offense right and then here you have it a two-way mid-range finisher um like I said, very extremely rare build. This is a center build. Um, and hopefully, like I said, man, this is something that opens your eyes a little bit. I feel like there's so many more builds that you have to, that I have to play around with to get because there's just so much potential out there. I've just seen so many names that we still do not have yet. So um, like I said, man, my grind is not gonna stop, man. I'm gonna continue to try to find it. So uh, let's get these to 99. I'm um, here, um, like I said, man, you have two badges. So what I'm, I mean, I'm eight badges. So. You want to go, um, of course, you want to go your contact um, on gold. That's something that you always have to have, right? Then you should go with your deep post hooks on um, on um, on silver. And then to me, I go my pro touch on gold. So what I do with this build is when I'm posting up, I'll do a lot of post hooks and that type of deal. This build is not meant to be back down punishing. You're not know I mean to do all that type of stuff. Trust me, just go with this lineup set up here, right? Post hooks is what you want to do as far as your finishing, right? Shooting, of course, you want to go to your quick draw. I'm um, gonna get a quick draw Hall of Fame if you want to. You're gonna shoot a lot of mid ranges, guys. So, you know, for me, you'll go ahead and go with your catch and shoot. Um, you can put that catch and shoot on. Um, you definitely want to go with your deep fades because obviously, like I said, this is a very unique build and you want to go with your hot zone hunter, right? Um, you don't need to go with range extender because you're not shooting anything far, right? Um, worst come to worst, um, maybe you can go. Nah, I want to keep it like that. I was like, so you can get corner specials because if you do deep fades in a corner, um, it'll work. Um, but Hot Zone Hunter would be great too. But um, like I said, this is a very unique build. Um, you, you do not have any three-point shooting, but you have deadly mid-range shooting. So you can shoot a lot of shots from the mid-range. And understand, a mid-range shot is just a foot inside a three-point line. It comes up as a mid-range. So you'll be able to have really, really good shots. And you should grain a lot because an 88 mid-range shot is old. Key. and that's the reason why i have gold catch and shoot because if it was 70s then i would say just keep it on bronze but since it's so high up closer to the 90s go hall of fame catch and shoot your deep phase also is gonna be in the 90s so go ahead and go hall of fame with that but again this build is almost like i said it is a true center build back to the basket type build or if you're gonna be a cone make sure you set up as a cone in the mid-range area all right but again it's your build man you can do it any way you want right um, here you want to go with your quick first step you want to go with your post band technician these two right here and then you want to go with dream shake so i figured out what dream shake is and um so if you actually press triangle this is what set out post move fakes have a higher chance of staying defender i was like oh, okay who cares about that but it says also shot attempts following post moves and shot fakes have an increased shot percentage i was like what i was like okay 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 that's that's a game changer now it gives you a boost on shot attempts following post moves like you don't have to do a, a and shot fakes so you literally can do a post move like hold l2 do a post spin and go with a shot and that's considered a dream shake understand that it says shot attempts following post moves and shot fakes have an increased shot percentage so post moves and shot fakes 
gives you increased shot percentage. That's a game changer, right? So that's what that's what you want to go with. You want to go with that dream shake, right? So the, again, it's your build. You can do any type of way you want to, but this is the best way to go with, all right? Now from here, the only two what you need to do is go with your brick wall and gold and your rebound chaser, all right? And your Gucci. So the six, this is like I said, this is why I'm saying it's a solid build because now you have rebound chaser on gold. So you better get the rebounds down low. You have an 80 defensive rebound and you have your brick wall on gold. So you can set the screens for your um, for your teammate, your guard that's zigzagging behind your screens. And we all know that's what people do <laughs> on this 2K. That's just how the meta works, all right? So you wanna go with brick wall and you wanna go with rebound chaser, all right? Um, so what you want to do um, here? Okay, cool. So my bag got distracted a little bit, but um, okay. So this right here is your two-way mid-range finisher, right? If you enjoyed this build, y'all know what y'all need to do, guys. Go ahead and please drop a like, like I said in the beginning. Sub up to the channel. Um, this is Christmas Eve again, like I said. So you make sure that y'all be around your family, your friends, your loved ones. Um, bringing in this is like I said, man. This is a special time. Like I said, it's my favorite holiday. It's a time of giving. Um, so make sure that you know what I'm saying you around your, your, your loved ones tell them you love them and of course my nephews and nieces I love every single one of y'all man. I appreciate what y'all have done for me Y'all have been the major y'all have been the biggest gift for me for this year So I just want to put that out there man So I appreciate every single one of y'all and um, y'all enjoy y'all Christmas Eve And of course I'll be back really really soon and when I say I'll be back really really soon Y'all know what I'm talking about right? I'm talking about Christmas man I'll be on Christmas man I'm out y'all See me when you ain't like me then. No, you ain't me now. All of them copies tried to throw me. I can see you now. Biggest.